Thanks for tuning in today. I'm your host, Neil Howard, here on Health Professional Radio. Is it possible that your body is getting drunk without your consent? Our guest is returning to talk with us, Kieran Krishnan. He's here to discuss gut fermentation syndrome. It's a chronic condition. I'll let Kieran tell you all about it. Welcome back to Health Professional Radio, Kieran Krishnan. Hi, thank you so much for having me, Neil. Great to be here again. When we were here before, we we talked about uh, some things having to do with uh, the gut and leaky gut and whatnot. Uh, give our listeners a bit of background about yourself for those who aren't familiar with you. Sure. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm trained as a microbiologist, and I've worked as a microbiologist for the last decade or so. Uh, I've been in the supplement, food, nutritional industry for about 17 years, doing research, product development, supporting companies on the scientific advisory side. And uh, over the last 10 years, I've been really focused on probiotics and gut health, uh, both from a product development and research side as well. Now, as far as probiotics are concerned, what exactly is it that probiotics do that benefit the body? You know, in general, um, to the probiotics, an effective probiotic, one that can get in and actually manipulate the flora within the gut in a favorable way. Um, so an effective probiotic can shift the balance back between good and bad bacteria. Once you shift the balance, then all kinds of things in your body that aren't functioning properly start to function properly again, uh, primarily your immune system. You know, about 80% of your immune system is located in your gut and controlled by the microbes in your gut. So if you're experiencing things like allergies and asthma and autoimmune diseases and even cardiovascular disease, diabetes, obesity, all of these things start with an immune dysfunction in the gut and a good probiotic and get in there and fix that. So that's just the start of what they can do. And then uh, there's numerous things with cognitive health, with anxiety, depression, um, and just overall how you feel and how you look seems to be dependent on uh, the flora, and, and thus a good probiotic can afford all of those benefits. Now you mentioned flora. You know, we hear of flora and fauna. I'm assuming that flora are those things that grow in the gut. And being flora, there's fermentation in, involved sometimes. I mentioned, you know, one's body getting drunk without their consent. How does that occur and what has it to do with flora in the gut? Yeah, and that is a really phenomenal um, insight that, that we've gained from, from studying the microbiome. Uh, so the flora is really the, the collection of organisms that exist naturally in the gut. And to say that it's the most complex ecology on the planet is an understatement. You know, imagine that your gut between your mouth and your bottom contains over a thousand different species of bacteria. So the species diversity tends to be very dense. There's also hundreds of trillions of bacteria. So in fact, it's a, it's a little over 100 trillion bacteria in that region. Compare that to about 10 trillion cells that make up the entire human body. So it's 10 times more bacteria cells just in your gut than cells that make up your whole body. And so that flora is extremely dense and extremely busy all the time. Everything that goes through your system that you consume, parts of it end up in the floor, in the in the most dense part of the flora, which is in the large intestine, and and becomes metabolized or broken down by that by that mass of bacteria. Now, depending on the types of bacteria that are present, and especially yeast, yeast is also a normal part of the flora. But many people can have an overgrowth of yeast if they don't have adequate amounts of good bacteria. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the characteristics of yeast is that when they break down carbohydrates, they produce alcohol as a side effect. Mm -hmm. And that's basically how we get beer, that's basically how we get wine, and you know, every, every type of alcohol that we know that we enjoy socially comes from yeast breaking down sugars and, and carbohydrates. Mm -hmm. And so these similar uh, functioning yeasts are existing in our gut. So when we eat food, it goes in there, the parts that aren't absorbed by our body go down to feed the flora, and the yeast within the flora will break it down and actually produce alcohol and on what I call alcohol derivatives, meaning molecules that have an alcohol component to it, but aren't typical like the alcohol you would drink. Mm -hmm. um, and they produce it in, in pretty good abundance, you know, and then that gets absorbed through your intestinal lining and into your bloodstream. So you've got this blood alcohol content and you haven't consumed any actual alcohol, you know, the spirits that you say as we enjoy socially. 
is this something that mm-hmm. could um, impair your your functions just like alcohol or simply showing an elevation in blood alcohol level? Yeah, in fact, it, it is noticeable when it impairs uh, people's functions. They just don't know what to attribute it to. Mm-hmm. So a lot of times people that have a yeast overgrowth, like a candida overgrowth, will experience um, constant brain fog. Um, or memory lapses and just aren't sharp. You know, they also feel kind of lethargic and want to lay down a lot. Um, in fact, some of them will even have uh, immune reactions on their skin, just like some people when they drink alcohol get flushed in the skin and, and have an immune reaction to the alcohol. All these things are, are, are quite apparent, just the same as kind of drinking, you know, a few beers or a glass of wine or two. But it's happening chronically. You know, it's happening every time you eat. It's happening three or four times a day. So you're you're effectively getting the side effect of alcoholism without actually consuming it yourself. Wow. You know, so it's 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 really fascinating because and then of course, like we know with alcoholism, you know, if you're drinking constantly three four times a day every day, and, and these are small amounts. You know, we're not saying you're you're binge drinking three four times a day, but small amounts, nonetheless. And that, of course, stresses the liver, stresses your gallbladder, can stress other parts of your body as well, just like chronic drinking would do. Um, so, yes, it's very noticeable. I, you know, working with people that have candida overgrowth, these are some of the main things that they suffer from. It's just that hangover kind of feeling all the time. If you're experiencing this all the time and you're not sure, you know, what's going on, how do you test to find out that you have this particular syndrome? Yeah, so that's a very good question. Now, there are a few places where you can do a stool test. They're they're not necessarily that accurate, uh, so that's something to contend with. Just because the stool test comes back negative doesn't necessarily mean that it's not there because these stool tests can often have false negatives, but it's worth a try. Um, I always recommend people... Um, you, they can utilize the American Gut Project. If they go on the American Gut Project, they just Google that. They'll find um, links to where they can send a stool sample in to get it analyzed. Um, there's other companies like Ubiome or Genova that your doctor can, can order tests from. Um, and then, you know, a lot of it is just kind of symptomology. You know, if you're, if you're noticing these, if you have sugar cravings on top of it, um, if you look at your tongue, your tongue is not as, as pink as it should be, it's more white. Um, all of these things are indicative that you probably have an overgrowth of yeast. Hmm. And, and so you don't necessarily need a test to confirm it, uh, because if you're feeling this every day, that's, that's likely what it is. Um, but again, the, the stool test can, can likely do it. Uh, your doctor can do a couple of blood tests as well to confirm yeast overgrowth. Well, what kind of steps can we take to, I guess, reverse the, the white tongue, or that sort of thing, the lethargic feeling? <clears throat> and are we talking about all foods or foods that are normally have the carbohydrate level or foods that have a, a very rich carbohydrate level? What's some of the things that we can do to alleviate this, these symptoms? Yeah, and that's a, that's a really important question. So um, the first thing we can do is change our diet. Because like any other flora, uh, any other collection of organisms, um, the ones that will do well are di- dictated by what we feed them, right? So, so the, the balance in the flora is, is heavily dictated by what we put in there as food sources. These, the yeast in particular love sugars, and they love simple carbohydrates. So they love things like you know, maltose and glucose and fructose and all of these simple carbohydrates that they can ferment into their byproducts, so alcohol being one of them. And so if we can cut out sugar, especially any sort of added sugar, you know, the sodas and even the, the sugar alternatives now um, are, have been shown to have a negative effect on, on this particular condition. And so just going to, you know, the diet version of the soda is not going to help. Just cutting out all of that added sugar and then in the diet component, eating more fiber and more protein and upping your good fats a little bit alone will make a huge difference. Because then what we're doing is helping select for the bacteria Mm -hmm. that like the fiber component, that like the protein components, who will then outcompete the yeast and bring them under control. That tends to be the best way to really do it. Now, where can we go online and get some more information about uh, maybe the the probiotics that we should be looking for that will accomplish 
our goals as far as uh, the syndrome is concerned or any of the other uh, gut-related problems that can benefit from probiotics? Yeah, and the probiotics could be a, a fantastic solution. We use them all the time in the clinics and all that I work with. Um, a good probiotic bacteria can go in and compete with the yeast itself and start to knock them down. Um, if, if people look up uh, Thrive Probiotics, so that's T-H-R-I-V-E, and probiotic, um, there's a significant amount of information on there that they can learn about the gut in general, microbiome, the flora issues, and then, of course, the, the Thrive probiotic itself. That's one that, that I use on a regular basis, uh, not only, of course, with myself, friends and family, but also with um, clinics and, and doctors and people that I work with and I help uh, consult on. That, that particular probiotic has the capability of surviving, getting into the intestinal tract, and starting to compete with the unfavorable organisms, both yeast and bacteria. That's what's great about that particular probiotic. And then, of course, making those dietary changes will go a long way as well. So between those two becomes a real powerful solution that you can just do yourself, you know, and not have to go in and get a prescription drug for something. Well, there's nothing like good news, right? Yeah, absolutely, okay. yes. <laughs> Karen, thanks for uh, coming back and joining us today here on Health Professional Radio. As always, it's been a pleasure. You're welcome, and it was a pleasure to be back. Right. Thank you for having me. Okay. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in studio with Kieran Krishnan discussing gut fermentation syndrome, which is a, a chronic condition that occurs from an overgrowth of candida uh, that causes the same inflammation in the body and stress on the liver as when you consume alcohol. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au and also at hpr.fm. Be sure to visit our affiliates page when you visit us on our platform. Subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, listen in on SoundCloud, and uh, also you can catch us on YouTube.